Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about what is the difference between Django and Node.js according to their pros and cons. So let's start this video with what exactly is Django. So first of all, Django is a Python based web framework that follows a model view template or the MVT template model. And this MVT or the model view template is actually a variation of the most famous model view controller or MVC model. Moreover, Django uses a fast development method where it takes the applications from concepts to completion in no time. Talking about some of the major pros of Django, then the first and the foremost is going to be the versatility and the scalability. So one of the key reasons Django is so well liked among tech companies is that it is designed to build and scale up projects and project management very fast. Even the busiest websites may benefit from Django's assistance in scaling up to handle increased traffic. And then we have security. Now because Django takes security seriously, it assists developers in avoiding various security errors such as SQL injection. Now to handle user accounts and password security, it offers a user authentication mechanism as well. For instance, the hashed password is kept in cookies rather than a password in the Django framework. So other than this, we have the rapid development. The Django's primary design was to ensure rapid development. Now due to Django's MVT architecture implementation, the development is pretty quick and easy. Other than this, we have the admin interface. Now, Django provides an admin interface to develop applications without having to create a backend admin interface. Now, this way, you don't have to build your own admin interface when you only have to handle your data using the basic CRUD operations, which are basically create, read, update, and delete. Now, another pro or another advantage of Django is Python based. So, basically, Major design principle that led to the creation of Python is that it is incredibly simple to read and above all, Django is built on the Python programming language, which basically means that in return all of Python's advantages including simplicity, increased productivity and support for external libraries are all present in Django. Other than this, we have the documentation. If I were to argue about the Django's finest feature, then it is going to be its vibrant community. So the community is always trying to make the framework more dependable and user friendly. So that is why the documentation is comprehensive, easy to read and very productive. Next up, we have REST. So REST is a framework for creating web APIs. Accordingly, Django has the extra bonus of being powerful enough to develop an API in a few lines of code. This means that your data is not confined to any standard and may return numerous data formats as well as manage many sorts of calls. Now since we have talked about the major pros of Django, let's talk about some of the cons that we get with Django. So there are not many, but the first one is monolithic. This means that the programmer must become familiar with a certain collection of files and presets variables in Django before starting any project. Other than that, we have that it is only good for bigger projects. Evidently, Django has a lot of code to support all of its features. For low-end websites that can function with very little bandwidth, it requires server processing and time, which presents certain challenges. And other than that, we have that it cannot handle multiple requests. Now, this is very important because Django does not allow separate process to handle numerous requests at once, in contrast to many other contemporary web frameworks. Anyways, moving on from Django, let's talk about what exactly is Node.js. So Node.js is primarily a runtime environment based on Chrome's V8 JavaScript engine. Now given that JavaScript is one of the most widely used languages today, Node.js has benefited from this popularity by rising to become one of the most often used backend frameworks. Now all things considered, Node.js offers a variety of significant features that draw developers. So let's talk about these pros of Node.js. So the first and the foremost is going to be the easy to learn. Now many individuals pick Node.js for web application development since it is so simple to adapt. Learning Node.js requires less time and effort. Other than that, we have scalability. Now because it is an event driven and asynchronous, Node.js is easily scalable. Then we have flexibility. Now in most frameworks or runtime environments, a change in the code affects the entirety of the application. However, that is not true in Node.js. In Node.js, a change only affects one particular node. And best of all, when JSON and Node.js are combined, information may be quickly sent between the client and server sites. Other than this, we have high performance. So when compared to other server-side programming languages, Node.js is known for providing great performance. Therefore, it is a desirable choice for many web developers. Next up, we have cross-platform development. 
Well, basically, the Node.js web development allows you to simply package apps and executable files for a variety of operating systems without any trouble or code recompilation. Now, this is a very major benefit that you get with Node.js. After that, let's talk about some of the cons of Node.js. First and foremost is going to be the callback hell. So basically Node.js relies significantly on callbacks because of its asynchronous nature. And as a result, that so-called callback can negatively affect the code quality. Other than that, we have low performance on CPU intensive tasks. Well, this one is pretty self-explanatory. Other than that, we have the unstable APIs. There are numerous of tools in the NPM registry, which is the Node package manager that are either of poor quality or are not fully documented. Now, because of this, many users create unstable APIs using those packages. Anyways, let's talk about the key differences between Django and Node.js. So the first and the foremost that we're going to compare is going to be the development time. So you can develop Python applications more quickly than JavaScript ones. Conversely, Django's main emphasis is giving developers the tools they need to efficiently construct programs with the least amount of code. So that is why Django takes the upper hand in this category. Then the next one we have security. Now because of the built-in mechanisms such as click jacking prevention that guards against security breaches, Django is more secure. However, Node.js requires manual operation system to address security threats. Next up is going to be the scalability category. Scalability of Django has new features added and improved without having to worry about how to incorporate them into the application. Now, the framework can manage high traffic and large volumes of data well. Contrary with Node.js, it is renowned for being able to manage even 1 million simultaneous connections with its single threaded event loop paradigm. So both of these are scalable, but they have their own dynamics. Next up, we have the popularity. So JavaScript is the most programming language with a usage of 67.9%, whereas 43.51% of professional developers use Python. Out of those 67.9% developers of JavaScript, 46.31% use Node.js. And out of those 43.51% of professional developers using Python, only 13.59% use Django. So we can clearly see that Node.js is more popular than Django. Next up, we have the community. Now, the community that uses Django is tiny, but comparatively, it is a more active community. On the other hand, Node.js has a thriving community of knowledgeable users that help with upgrades and even with modifications. Other than that, let's talk about complexity. Now, the complexity comparison of Django is quite complex because a developer has to stick with particular routes to work with any problem they come across. However, Node.js, on the other hand, is highly flexible to work with. Now those were the major differences between Django and Node.js. Now if you want to deploy Node.js or Django on cloud hosted platforms like Azure, GCP or Amazon, then simply check out the videos that are linked in the description box or that are available in our channel. And if you want to learn even more details about the difference between Django and Node.js, then you can simply check out the blog that is linked in the description box as well. And finally, if you have learned anything new with this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.